In this video, I'll show you how to use Axiom Pro as a complete beginner. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So the first thing you need to do is open up and log into your Axiom Pro account. If you don't already have an Axiom Pro account, it's invite only, and I'll drop my referral link down below in the description and the pinned comment. And by using my affiliate link, you'll actually get a 10% discount on your trading fees. So once you use that link, you're going to come to a page that looks like this. You're going to go right over here and click on start trading. And you're going to sign up with either an email, Gmail, or your Phantom account. Make sure that key shows up right over here in the invite code section. That's going to make sure that you get the discount on your fees. So I'm going to just continue with my Gmail account and log in. So after you signed up, verify the email that it sends you. You're going to come to a page that looks like this. This is going to go over some of the features that Axiom provides. You can go through it. Then you're going to come to a page that looks like this. First thing I suggest you do is go right over here to the top right hand corner. Click on account and security. Go right over here and view recovery key. You're going to reveal your recovery key and you're going to copy this recovery key onto a physical piece of paper and keep it somewhere safe. Do not share this with anyone. This is how you can recover your account if you ever lose your password. But at the same time, anybody that has your recovery key can access your account and drain your wallets. Next thing you need to do if you haven't already done so is you need a phantom wallet. This is where you're going to store your Solana and fund your Axiom Pro account. So if you don't already have a phantom account, you can go right over to phantom.com or I'll also drop you a link down below in the description. Once you come to this page, you're going to go right over here and click on download for Chrome. And you're going to go right over here to add the extension to Chrome. As you can see right up here, I already have Phantom extension downloaded. But once you do that, it's pretty straightforward. Just sign up for an account. So the next thing that we need to do is add funds to our account. And there's a couple ways you can do that. The main way to do it is by going right over here to the top and clicking on portfolio. Go to wallets and right here you can import a wallet click on import and we're going to import our phantom wallet go back over to the phantom wallet that you just made we're going to go right over here to the top and click on our profile scroll down to see settings click on that go right over here and click on your wallet and we're going to click on show private key it's going to ask you to enter in your password and as you can see right here do not show your private key if someone has your private key they have full control of your wallet click on solana Check this off, acknowledging that you're not going to share your private key with any third party. Click continue. And we're going to go right over here and copy our private key. Go back into Axiom and paste it in right over here and import wallet. And as you can see now, we have our wallet connected right there. So now that we have our Phantom wallet connected, we can literally just check off the Axiom wallet and use specifically our Phantom wallet. And now to fund our account, we're just going to click on Phantom wallet and we're going to click on buy. Click on Solana. Enter in the amount of Solana that you want to buy. For this example, I'll just use $10 and you can either use and you can click down here to see the options that are available you can use your debit credit card, Topper, Revolut, Stripe, Coinbase Pay, Avis. If we use Coinbase Pay, for example, click on buy. It'll allow you to sign into your Coinbase account. And if you don't already have a Coinbase account, I'll also drop you a link down below in the description. And by using my link, you can earn up to $50 USDC just for depositing and making a trade on your account. So I'm going to sign into my Coinbase account. Enter in my verification code. And right here, as you can see, I can just confirm and make the purchase and make the purchase. It's all done. And as you can see, the money's already in my Phantom wallet. I just refresh this page. And after refreshing the page, you can see the balance is also here. You just select the wallet and now we can start trading. Another way you can deposit Solana into your Axiom account is by simply going right over here, clicking on deposit. This is going to give you your Axiom deposit address. You copy this. Paste it into any exchange you might hold Solana. I'll use Coinbase again for an example. You would just go to your assets or your wallet, wherever you have your assets in there. And you'd go to and click on send crypto or withdraw. Paste in the wallet address from Axiom right over there. Confirm it. And you'd be able to send your Solana that way if you had any in your account. And with Bybit, it would basically be the same thing. You'd go over to your assets, click on withdraw. Pick the asset that you want to send. This example, we want to send Solana. Click on Solana. Enter the wallet from Axiom right over here. The chain type would be Solana and the amount you would want to send depending on what you have in your account. For example, if I want to send two Solana, put in two Solana. This is the transaction fee. You just go right over here, confirm, and you would get that amount in your Axiom wallet. So before you start trading, we're going to go over a few things. First thing you got to do is configure your settings. You have three options here. You can 
customize your presets one, two, and three. For example, if you're trading high volume meme coins, you might want to put in higher priority and higher bribe. And if you don't know what to put, the gas fee, which is your priority, is usually right down here. It shows you the recommended amount that you should have. So recommended, it should have 0 0.001 for your priority, which it already is at and your bribe should be 0.03. You can play around with this if you want. I usually just leave it at that. If you're trading low volume meme coins, or if you're starting with a very low portfolio, you might wanna lower your priority and your bribe fees to maybe 0.001, the bribe as well, and your sell settings can be the same. I usually increase the slippage for this, but if you're, again, if you're trading low volume stuff or with a low port, you should be fine with these settings. If you're going in with more size, or in high volume meme coins, you wanna keep your priority and your bribe high to make sure you get the fastest fills. And for sell settings for high volume stuff, you might wanna increase this to as much as 90, just to make sure you get out of anything in case it's dumping or rugging. Another thing that's important to keep on is MEV protection. That's to guard you against any front running. But again, if you're starting off with a low port, you don't really need this. Nine times out of 10, you're not gonna get MEV'd anyway. But if you're going in with more size, recommended to have this on, at least for your buy settings. You can also have it on for your sell, just to be safe. Now let's go over some of the platform's tools and features, and what makes Axiom Pro the best meme coin trading platform out right now. So starting off with the Discover tab, you can see right over here, you have Deck Screener, which are all the current trending coins on Deck Screener, and you can filter them out with 5 minute, 1 hour, 6 hour, or 24 hours. You can also add more filters. For example, if you only want to see pump tokens, you can uncheck radium and moonshot, click apply all, and this is only going to show you the pump token. And this is only going to show you the pop. And this is only going to show you the pumped out fund tokens. You can also add more filters such as DEX paid, top 10 holders, minimum and maximum, liquidity, volume, market cap, and transactions. And you can sort this by volume, liquidity, market cap, and see what's currently trending in the five minute, one hour, six hour, or 24 hour tabs. Now going over to Pulse, this is very similar to every other DEX out there, showing new pairs, final stretch, and migrated. Similar to Volex Neo, which would be new creations, about to graduate and graduated. As you can see here in new pairs, it's pretty self-explanatory. These are the new tokens that are currently being popped out every second. Final stretch are the ones that are about to graduate or migrate, which means that they're gonna bond and be live to trade on platforms like Radium and Jupiter. Another cool thing about Axiom Pro, as you can see these little icons down here, this actually shows you the bundle holding, insider will holding, snipers, how much the dev is holding, how much the top 10 holders are holding. Originally, you would have to use a Telegram bot or a second party app, paste in the token address, and wait for it to tell you the bundle percentage, top 10 holders, and snipers. But now with all of these tools, you don't really need that. You can do most of the research at first glance. If you click on a token, for example, this one, you'll see more info right over here. Again, you'll have the top 10 holders, dev holding, snipers, insiders, bundles, and LP burned. You'll also see the amount of holders and the amount of pro traders. A pro trader is basically just someone that uses a tool such as Axiom, Bolex, or Photon in order to trade. I usually look for pro traders to be at least half of the quota holders to make sure it's a safe coin to get into. This, by the way, is a rug. If you see something like that, avoid it. The reason that this is a rug, well, first of all, this is not a normal looking chart. You can see right over here, insiders is 73%. You want this to be under 10%. Top 10 holders, it's not extremely high, but you want to aim for 20 and under. Dev holding is okay. It says here that bundles is 0%. But if we go over here to the coin, click on holders, go over here to bubble maps, and this will give you a bigger breakdown of the token holdings. As you can see here, the creator address holds 70% of the coin, complete rug. If you just saw this over here, insider 75%, top 10 over 26. Not to mention a chart that looks like a complete scam. And right here, you can check how much of the liquidity pool is burned. Another cool setting that you can use is the sniper setting right over here. You can also just go right over here to snipe settings. You can set that up, for example, put slippage at 20% priority. Let's use the recommended amount, point 001 and bribe also 0 0.01 hit continue and right over here where it says quick buy enter the amount that you want to buy at so for example if you want to just snipe 0 0.002 solana you'd enter in your number there if you want to snipe with one solana you can also just do that and now if you wanted to snipe something in new pairs or in final stretch you just have to click this button and it would auto buy some other cool features is if you go over here to display you can make your quick buy buttons large mega you can make the metrics small or large. You can make gray buttons, color buttons. Right over here, you can select the search bar, which is actually pretty handy. You can look up a coin real quick right there. 
instead of going up top, you can change your images to circles or squares. Progress bar. Progress bar, you can have it so it is this line right here, and it'll show you the progress of how close it is to migrating. If you click on the ring, this is the progress bar right over here, going over top of the image. I like to have the straight line. I feel it's easier to see. And right here, you can customize your rows. You can have market cap on or off, volume. You know, if you don't care about the dev holding or the snipers, you can check those off. You can focus on what's important to you. Another cool thing you can do is go right down here and you can actually customize your theme, change the color of your buttons. For example, if I wanted red, go right over here, pick the color I'd want, click done, and now my theme is red instead of blue. Another cool thing you can do with Axiom is you can actually go right over here. When you're going to buy a coin, you can select a market, a limit, or advanced. For market, it's what it sounds like. Enter in the amount that you want to buy. For example, if you want to buy 0.01 of a token, you just click on that. You can also adjust these to whatever you would like. So for example, if you wanted one soul, one and a half soul, you can just do that. Click on the check to confirm. And if whenever you're ready to buy, you just have to click on buy. Another cool thing you can do is you can actually set a limit order. For example, if it reaches, for example, if you want to buy when it reaches down here, you just set your limit order down here. Click on buy. Whenever that reaches, it'll place your order. You can also do that for sell. If you want to sell at, you know, say 50% profit, you can just enter in 50% and the amount you want to sell. So you want to sell 100% at 50% profit. Click on sell. Whenever it hits that, it would place your order and sell the token. And right here in the advanced section is actually when you can buy after migration. You can even buy after a dev sells. Same with sell. You can sell at migration or after a dev sells. Enter in the amount that you would like to sell right here or enter the amount buy. Place the order. Whenever it hit that mark, it would place the order. If I wanted to snipe this at migration, I can just go right over here, hit that snipe button. After it finished migrating, as you can see here, this coin is migrating. I can snipe this at migration. So after it's done migrating, there's usually a dump. I can snipe that. Do that only if it's a good coin because it can also go to zero. If you go right down here to the holders tab, this will actually tell you all of the holders of a coin, which right now looks like there's only three people. And if you go to the holders tab, you can see all of the holders. This icon right here next to a wallet address means that it's a pro trader. And again, these are individuals that are trading on a platform such as Axiom Pro, Bullex, or Photon. And under the holders section, you can see right over here on the right hand corner under remaining, it'll tell you the percentage of a wallet's holding in this specific meme coin. As you can see right here, this guy holds 2%, and we can actually click on him. And if we actually go over here and click on filter by address, we can see all of his orders. So you can see he bought here and bought again over here at 5.7K market cap. Another tab right over here is you can click on top traders, and this is going to show you the top traders of the coins, ones that have made the most money trading this meme coin. This one right here is actually the dev wallet, which you can tell by looking at the chef's hat. So this guy here is actually the top trader. You can actually click on his wallet, and over here it would show you his total PL. You can sort it by 30 day, 7 day, and 1 day, but as you can see here, he doesn't really have any trading history, so he was probably some sort of insider. Another cool thing that Axiom has is if you go over here to the trade section, you can actually see all of the current trades live. And you can actually adjust this. If you don't want it at the bottom of the chart, you can actually move it to the right. Have the holder show up at the bottom where the top traders or scroll that all the way down. You also have this feature over here, which is your instant trade, which is just a faster way of making your buys and sells with one click. And you can also sort it from preset one, two, and three. Now let's go over to the trackers. If we go right over here to the top and click on trackers, this is going to bring up your Twitter tracker as well as your wallet tracker. Because this is a new account, I don't have any wallets, but I can actually import my wallets from my other account just to demonstrate. And if you want this list of wallets to track, I'll also drop it down below in the description if you want it. Essentially, you would just copy it right over here, click on import and paste in right there. Click confirm. Now you have all of the wallets. Click on live trades. These are the current trades that top KOLs are doing right now. If we go over to our Twitter alerts, if we go to customize feed, we can actually customize our Twitter feed and add people to it. We can go over here to top subscriptions, look for people that make sense to track. For example, real Donald Trump, make sure you add that to your list. LaunchCoin, White House, and so on. Then you can go to your Twitter alerts and it'll start showing up right there. Now, if you go back to your Pulse tab, go down to the bottom, you'll have your wallet tracker and Twitter tracker right here. You can actually click them to turn them on. And you'll have your Twitter tracker right here. You can actually move that up into the top or into the side of the platform. So it shows up right here. And your wallet tracker, you can adjust this, put it wherever you want and drag it around. You can also move it up to the top and have it here on the right. So now, whenever a trade happens, you'll see it. 
And whenever a tweet comes out, you'll also see that. You can also turn on Truth Social by toggling this icon on right here. And now whenever Trump tweets something on Truth Social, this will also pop up and you can come right over here and snipe it. I usually like to keep my wallet tracker small and down out of the way. And again, anytime somebody makes a trade, you'll get a notification. If you don't want to hear it at all, you go right down here to the bottom, notification settings, click on that, and you can uncheck display notifications and the transaction sound. Click on done. Anytime somebody makes a trade, it's going to be silent. To turn it back on, go back to your notifications on. You can either toggle display settings on and turn off and on the sound alerts. Now, if we move over here to perpetuals, Axiom also allows you to trade perpetuals. If you click right over here under BTC, these are all of the pairs that it allows you to trade where you can long and short with up to 40x leverage. If you click over here on the yield tab, you can actually earn passive income by staking your Solana right here, and you can earn 4.2% on your Solana. Clicking on the portfolio tab, this just goes through your active positions, your history, your top 10 trades. Also, I'll have your wallets right here and your perpetual trades. Right over here, it'll also show you your 30-day P&L and your trade win and loss percentage would show up right over here. If you go over here to your rewards tab, it'll come to this page. And this is actually where you can claim and see the amount of rewards or Solana that you earn just for trading because Axiom Pro is the only platform that will actually pay you to make a trade. And you can come right over here and claim it. Another way to earn with Axiom Pro is you can come right over here and set your referral code, enter in whatever referral code you would like. So for example, mine is keys, but that's probably already taken. So I'll put keys one. You set that and you have your own affiliate link right over here. And you can just come right over here to copy it. And you share that link anytime somebody signs up with Axiom through your link and makes a trade, you will earn a small commission for it. So if we go back to the Pulse tab, I forgot to mention right over here, you have your PL tracker. If you click on that, this will pop up and it'll actually show you your profit and loss. You can customize it by going over to settings. You can customize swap USD, Sol. You can show both currencies by toggling this on. You can adjust the background by blurring it, changing the opacity, change the text however you want and personalize this to you. So to wrap this up, Axiom Pro is the most advanced and the fastest Solana meme coin trading software out right now. And it also offers a free Twitter tracker, wallet tracker, PL tracker, and so much more that you'd have to otherwise pay for if you were using another trading platform. And that's basically it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video.